Hello. Thanks for joining again. I know it's been a few weeks since I've posted. Uh, I've been lucky enough to earn a few more subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, it really means a lot to me. Uh, I would love to keep doing this uh, and keep making videos for you. I have some ideas for the next round. I know that we're at the end of Saqqara and I owe you an update and I'm about to give that to you. Uh, after that, I will go back to making restaurant reviews, cooking some at home and showing you what I'm doing there. Hopefully that'll be of interest. And I think I may do one more food subscription service and review that. Uh, but let's get to Saqqara. So what do I think? Uh, well, you know, it's interesting. I did the 30 day reset, which was actually less than 30 days of food. Um, it was, it was a good experience. I have received a few questions from you guys in Q and A. Um, one question was, did I exercise every day? And the answer is yes, I did exercise. Uh, I did yoga. I did not do any high impact cardio. There are some forms of yoga that you can do, by the way, in case you're interested, where you do get more of a, a cardio workout, you get your heart rate up and you sweat more. Um, I did more of a moderate to gentle yoga. I don't know if I would have had the energy, at least during those first 30 days, to do you know a more conventional like 30 minute on the elliptical or on the treadmill. Um, it, it definitely was an adjustment for me eating that way. So, so that's what I did and what I didn't do in terms of exercise. Um, how much was it cost? How much does it cost? Not was it cost? How much does it cost? Uh, hello, Pep. It costs $410 a week without a subscription. And if you do subscribe to the Sakara program, you do get a discount. It's $349 a week. You can also remove meals. You can, you can order lunch and dinner only or breakfast and dinner or whatever you want to do. And that reduces the cost more. Uh, that said, it's very expensive and it, 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 is, it, it has gotten in the way of me bringing this video to you sooner because I truly do not know how much I would use this program just because of the price. If the price were maybe, well, obviously half, uh, but if it were 20% less, uh, you might see me ordering more often, but it is truly expensive. And even if I can make it work in the budget, I just, I just have a hard time justifying spending that much money. Uh, but I'm thinking about it and there are definitely some benefits to this program, uh, but let's go through the pros and cons. So the, the cons I told you, uh, it's expensive. Uh, another one is that the food comes in these convenient plastic containers and everything's really easy to use and everything's segregated for you. So your salad is never wet. The dressing is on the side, it's in another container. The container holds the dressing beautifully, but you have all of this waste to throw out after. So I think that's in the cons category, although it's incredibly convenient. Um, Another con is that sometimes I felt hungry at the end of the week, um, usually on Fridays. And if you've watched my series, you know, I speculate that that's because Fridays are the night when we usually go out for dinner. And sometimes we still did go out for dinner. So in addition to just maybe feeling hungry physically, I had that psychological trigger of, hey, it's Friday. It's time to have a big meal in a restaurant. Uh, it's time to have a drink. It's time to celebrate. So that was an issue. A final kind of negative, um, which was good and bad, is that you, because the food is so fresh and it's delivered to you ready to eat, it's delivered twice a week. And it's basically a delivery service drives it to your home at night, the night before the plan for that part of the week starts. So if I was receiving food to start on a Wednesday, Tuesday night, I would receive food sometime before 11 p.m. For me, that was tough because I usually go to bed earlier. For some people, it might not be an issue, but I was concerned about letting the food sit in a box overnight if I fell asleep. So I was forcing myself to stay awake. So if, um, if that's something that might be an issue for you, if you're also someone who gets up really early and goes to bed early, you know, just know that that might be an issue. And I'm sure those delivery times vary based on your location too. 
Um, the pros, the pros, okay. So if you watch, the meals are all prepared for you. The only thing you may need to do if you choose is heat them up, which takes, you know, I think the most it ever took was about five minutes. Uh, they're prepared, they are colorful, they're different to what you might be used to, uh, depending on how you ate before. I know it was different for me. So I tried things that I, weren't, I wasn't eating in the past and I really, really enjoyed that. Um, another pro is that after a few weeks, at least for me, I craved more vegetables and that has remained. I still, when I go to restaurants, I will order more plant-based food. At home, I want a salad. I want to have, I've been cooking lentils curry. Um, I found a channel that I really like. I'll link it below. Um, she is, She's a vegan chef and she makes these wonderful Indian dishes. Um, and I've been eating lentils curry. Uh, it definitely is great for digestion. Uh, you feel healthy. It's very filling and satisfying, but I want that. I want, you know, things that have a lot of vegetables in them. Uh, I don't want meat as much as I did before. That said, and maybe this should go back to the, the cons, there were times, uh, during the week when I felt like, you know, I'd really like, I'd really like an omelet or I, I would really like, you know, a, a bacon, egg and cheese sandwich, but not really. It was just that I, I wanted some protein or something a little bit more substantial. Uh, one thing I did do, I started taking an iron supplement. I don't know if um, the need for it, I, I know that the need for it didn't arise because of the, the vegan meals, um, but I, I wonder if it might help taking this and eating the, the meals. You know, I wonder if I would have had fewer cravings if I had done that while I was, was on the program. So that's something to think about. Um, finally, and I think the big thing is that it works. So over those eight weeks, I was weighing myself every day. I have since stopped doing that. It, that's crazy. But I lost eight pounds in four weeks. Um, and that's substantial. You know, it's substantial to me because it wasn't a crash diet. Uh, I lost a lot of bloat. I felt he healthier. I, I didn't need to lose a huge amount of weight to begin with. Um, but it felt like it was a sustainable rate to lose the weight you know to uh, an average of two pounds a week i think still fits me into the healthy range while it's still being significant and i think if i had continued i probably would have lost a little bit more weight um and and, and probably would have hit my goal weight although I'm, I'm happy to report that i am in a healthy normal bmi range um so yeah i i think i will order it again at some point I may try, and uh, one of my new subscribers, thank you, suggested that I try Thistle, which is another plant-based food delivery service. It's supposed to be delicious, and it's less expensive. So if I look into that, I may share that with you. Uh, I don't know if I'll do another 30 days of, or, or less 26 days as it turned out, of, of reviews, but I will share with you my impressions of it if I do it. Uh, and that's about it. So if you try it, you know, let me know in the comments what you think of Saqqara or any of the other food delivery service programs. Particularly, let me know what you think of the price. You know, do you also kind of shudder, even if you can afford to do it, do you just kind of look at the price and think, should I really be spending this much money on meals? And I did have one person say to me, you know, it's an investment in your health. And, you know, maybe that's something to consider. Uh, but it's a big investment. So, yeah. So anyway, if I order them again, I will update you. But I am going to start posting some other content. You know, again, I, I made this vegan chili. It was delicious. I, I can't wait to put that up for you. Um, I've gone out to eat a few times, uh, so I'll have some restaurant reviews to share, and we'll do more like that. Uh, so that's it. Thanks very much, and we'll see you soon.